This is a $200 Wagyu steak. And today I'm gonna crust it with some of my favorite chips. That's a beautiful piece of steak. What kind of steak is this? A certified A5 Wagyu, my man. The best. What do you think is the best way that we should cook this steak? I think I have a couple ideas. Takis Fuego, Cheetos Flaming Hot, and the Doritos Tapatio. You be my sous chef today, so I'm gonna have you do the work. Be it like it owes you money. Where's my $20? <laughs> All right, so what we gotta do now is set up the dredging station. So we'll coat the steaks in the first layer of this, egg wash, back into this, and then we'll go straight into the oil. Directly into the Takis? Yes, directly in. Nice, good, even crust. Ooh, I feel like I just committed a sin. You did. Yeah, just get it nice and all up in there. Now that's gonna go straight into the egg wash. I'm gonna give it a little light bath. We'll give it a double layer to get extra crispy. Get it completely covered. You didn't say yes, chef? Yes, chef. A chef approved double crusted Taki Wagyu steak. We're not gonna deep fry it. We're just gonna put enough oil to cook one side, to get it nice and crispy, give it a flip. Kind of like cooking chicken katsu. All right, let's get the heat going, perfect. And then go ahead and pour the oil straight in. All of it, all of it. How are we gonna cook the baked potatoes? I thought it'd be different, maybe, because it's so unhealthy, we'll do a little healthier way, is to air fry it. Let's put them in the air fryer. So we're gonna go ahead and make a compound butter next. Okay. You know what that is, compound yeah. butter? Mm -hmm. I know, I know. So I like I a seasoned butter, right? Yeah, it was a trick way, I knew you knew. <laughs> so we're gonna take some room temperature butter, Okay. and then we're gonna add any spices and herbs to it that you like. So I'm thinking that because the steak really isn't that spicy, I'm gonna make a ghost pepper compound butter. So here we have a little bit of ghost pepper sauce. This one is called Ghost of Sancho. I like this one, it's a little bit sweet, but ultimately it is a super hot, hot sauce. So we're gonna add a little bit of that in there. Just to make sure that the heat comes through, we are going to be adding some ghost pepper chili powder. Let's add two things that I like. Okay, cool. I have some bacon fat. All right. And some shallots. Cool. Being Korean, I feel like I grew up eating a lot of spicy things. What about ghost peppers or Carolina Reapers? You ever had that before? To be honest, I've never had either of those, so. He's in for a treat. My toilet's in for a treat. Taste it. I'll taste it with you, bro. All right. Cheers. Not that bad. I, it tastes good. It does. It's got good flavor. It does. It's not that hot. Just wait till you have a full bite of it. It's creeping up. It's creeping up. <laughs> One chef tip is when you put it in, away from you so you don't splash on yourself. Because the steak is raw on the inside, we're gonna cook it about, I'd say three to four minutes max per side. Okay, you can flip it now. You can take it off now. You know, I'm gonna say it looks pretty good actually. I know. I'm gonna slice into it. You know, if this tastes good, I might have to put this on the menu. All right, so we're, for the potatoes, we're gonna add a little bit of the compound butter, a little bit of bacon, chives, hot Cheetos, and of course, the cheese. I was completely against it at first, but seeing it now actually looks pretty good. Let's grab us one of these little pieces right here. Okay. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up. Super juicy. The chips all come through. Super good crunch. Nine out of 10. What do you think? I want to give it a low score, but actually, I think I'm gonna have to hit like an eight or nine. So you heard it from the chef himself. A solid eight or nine out of 10. Let us know down below what you think we should try next. If you enjoyed having Chef Boy Lee on the show, please drop down below a chef hat for him. Until next time, it's your boy Spicy Cam. You know where to find me. And until then, stay spicy.